the mess up. I mean, you can you can clip it. Uh, well, well, are you recording? Yeah. Okay, please let me know. Okay. Obvious, yeah, just give us a clue. everybody else to do the same like follow and live out what's resonating with you and if it's not then that's okay you know and most of us when we do that when we live from that authentic space we get made fun of or we get outcasted or we get called the black sheep but that's because everybody not living from their authentic self everybody living from a fabricated version of who they thought they were or who they taught that they are. I don't want to live from that place. I want to be me. And if people can't accept me for me, I'm going to accept me. And I'm going to go where I am accepted. Even if it had even if it has to take me across the world. That's what's gonna happen. And I think that's the reason why I was blessed with so many children because these children give me an opportunity to live from my authenticity without judgment. And these children accept me and I see them living in their truth and being they, their, their authentic self, me being their mother. And that's all I want for my children. I don't want my children to grow up thinking that they have to follow in somebody else's shoes or be like someone else or do this, only this because somebody said that they should. No, be yourself. I realized in, in life when things light you up like that, when you feel sad or depressed or like lethargic or like you don't want to do it because you can't go no more, when things light you up and pour life back 
speaking to you, you're in your purpose. You're doing something purposeful, something meaningful, something of substance, something of value. 